What's going on, you two? Today we're back at Jonah's house, and we're going to be setting the 15 gallon up. If you've seen the previous video, you'll know a little bit about what he planned to do with this tank. So basically what we're going to do in this video is give you a step-by-step -step on how we would do this and how we would achieve setting this tank up. So we're going to start by rolling some footage of us going to the Petco in our local fish store. So at the count of three, we should be at Petco. One, two, three. <music> This will be step one. What I got here is a bucket full of soil mixed with some peat moss. And this is gonna be our first base layer where our plants gets all of its nutrients from. And we're gonna cap this with sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a good, nice thick layer of this in the bottom of the aquarium. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a nice little layer in here. Don't wanna put too little, don't wanna put too much. And like I said before, this is where the plants are gonna draw all their nutrients from. This is what's gonna keep them alive for a long time to come. And this method is called dirting a tank. And how we're gonna keep this dirt out of the water column is we're gonna cap it with a nice thick layer of sand. And once I get this layer put down to our liking, I'm gonna take some of the water and I'm gonna get all this nice and wet and it's basically gonna be a big mud bath in here. But all right guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. And this by far is gonna be the messiest part of the bill. Make sure you got a towel or something like that close by because you are gonna be covered in this stuff but there's really no way around it. And this is a preventative uh, measure just because we don't want any air pockets trapped in this bottom layer of, of soil that can uh, escape later and disturb the sand bed. And when it does, it's gonna allow this dirt layer to be introduced to the water column and that's not gonna be fun. So we don't wanna get it too wet. I've got it too wet before. And the only thing you can do when you get it too wet is just add more, but I really like what we have here now so i don't want to add any more so i'm going to take my time and add the water accordingly and just try to make sure i get everything soaked down all right guys we got this base layer of soil how we want it so what we're going to do now is we're going to let jonah open his sand and he's going to cap this uh substrate here with with the sand substrate and i shouldn't say this is a a way you should set up all freshwater aquariums. This is a good way to set up your aquarium if you plan on it being planted. Um, you don't necessarily have to dirt your aquarium if you don't plan on planting it. But this is one of the best ways, in my opinion, to set up an aquarium <laughs> that you plan on keeping a lot of aquatic plants in. All right, guys, so now we're outside and Jonah's taking the extra step. Something you should do. Uh, some people don't do it. I've not done it in the past. I have done it in the past. He's taking a little bit of extra time. He wants to rinse this sand. And uh, that almost certainly will help you uh, keeping your tank nice and clear upon startup. If you get all those fine particulates and all that dust rinsed off of it. So simply take it outside. You can see right here. Put it in a bucket. All of, that film on top. And then, you know, put the hose in the bucket and allow the water to run through the sand. 
and that's washing out a lot of that dust, a lot of those fine particulates, so it won't dirty up your water column. All right, guys, so now Jonah's going to spread his sand out and get it the way he wants it. Maybe we can switch sides here. So uh, I apologize. The uh, dirted layer is pretty dark itself, and the sand's black, so may not be coming up that well on camera, but it will once we get the light on the tank and the water in the tank. This probably be a good time to go ahead and figure out where you want your hardscape to go, where you want your driftwood. I bury it in the sand, you think? Yeah, just figure out where you want it in the tank. It's going to be in the middle. Throw it in there. Bury the rock. So, guys, this is the piece that he picked out. You talking about bury this one? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Very cool piece. Matter of fact, hold up guys, we're gonna we're gonna make a slight adjustment, we're gonna come back to the video. All right guys, I apologize for being a doofus, but now that we have the tank light on the tank, you should be able to see a lot better what's going on. So this uh, lighter layer there, that's your dirt layer, and then that black layer, of course, is your sand. So he's gonna get this spread out exactly how he wants it. Uh, sure. Soft shell. And he's putting in his Taco Bell order as we make this video. <laughs> what you uh, I'm good, for real. Yeah, Baja Blast. I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say, grab my Baja. See, we're putting in whole Taco Bell orders while we set up a fish tank. That's got to be, be next level to the viewer's eye. So now, at this point, you probably need to start smoothing it out a little bit to see where you are. Yeah, I'm going to just put one more scoop in. Right here. Let's see. Let me grab my As you guys can see, once he gets the sand smoothed out and we get the plants in and this tank's running, it's, I believe it's going to be stunning. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. You need a spreader for your tank. You go buy your wife some dang kitchen utensils and you steal the icing thing. It works perfect. Well, he's breaking the cardinal rule. If you, if you are a fish keeper, you'll know you do not steal supplies from the kitchen, but we all do. Hey, I didn't steal it. I bought new stuff and just took something out of the stuff I bought. So I, I never made it to the kitchen. I've definitely stole things from the kitchen. <laughs> and if you do HVAC work and you got extra drain hose, you can use that for your siphon hose or your uh, if you got a submergible pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of different ins and outs. If you guys hang around the channel long enough, you'll start picking up on some of our. You think if I take yes. it and have it where it's like going up in the middle? Where you skate this however you want it to be. This is your tank. I don't have to look at it every day and night like you do. <laughs> but guys, I hope you're getting the gist of the video so far. If you're setting up a planted freshwater aquarium, what I would suggest you do, get the base layer of the soil in, the nutrient-rich soil for the plants to live off of and then cap it with the sand layer to hold the dirt essentially out of the water column. And you are almost there. I think we need a little bit back there because it's yep. shallow. And what you shoot for is roughly inch and an inch and a half worth of a cap. If you were curious on how much sand you should put in here. So it can be quite meticulous. Just take your time, make sure it's the way you want it before you add the water. Because you do not want to be making changes to the sand bed after the water's already in the aquarium. All right, here comes the fun step. So what he's got here is he's got the uh, plants that he purchased today. A lot of good stuff. That's one from his that he purchased that kind of came off. So we're gonna see if we can get it to bite in my tank. Lord. This is what's really going to bring this this whole tank to life. This is going to be an awesome tank, guys. I can't wait till you see the fish that he got. The fish he picked for this tank is killer, man. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm honestly kind of jealous. Don't tell them yet. <laughs> wait till they go in. And then, nah. <laughs> well, spoiler alert, he got some pea puffers for the 15-gallon. The daughter had to get rid of that one. 
But that's all good. Y'all were going to see it very shortly anyways. But if I wouldn't be in fear for my life or my general safety, I would be setting up another aquarium about this size at the house as well. Now, something about the small tanks, which obviously they'll see soon enough. We'll be getting, uh, we're getting our hands full in a 75 gallon. But yeah, uh, John is going to be setting up a 75. I have another 75 set up, getting ready to hit the channel. And LJ has a 55 set up, getting ready to hit the channel. So a lot of larger tanks going in here in the near future. But what were you saying? Oh, just talking about getting that one set up. It's going to be in the sunroom and stuff. I yep. think that'll be a good centerfold. My wife's going to enjoy that because she's getting to pick the plants this time. He says that, but that he'll have complete and total rain over that tank. Hold on, baby girl. He just makes it, it, it makes it sound better when you say. You got to include the fan. There you go. We're not going like to say too much. Right we're getting trouble. There's some of this stuff that was bought for her, but technically it was bought for me. So if you ever want a helmet and you're a Star Wars fan and you have a wife, what you do is you buy yours and hers at the same time. And if you guys are Star Wars collectors or um, Harry Potter collectors or Lego collectors in general, John has got a lot of cool stuff. I've been trying to get him to start a YouTube channel on his collection. That'll be coming up soon. It'll probably be a little bit of collecting and stuff and then games. Cool deal. Good Lord. So this is the aggravating part of the process, getting this off of the root system of the plant. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the video here and we'll come back once we got it cleaned up. All right guys, he got the root systems cleaned up. Now he's about to plant them in the aquarium. So put a little bit of thought into it. I think you want one right out front there. In a minute. Yeah, we both have plants, don't we? Yeah, I have salad. Plant salad. Like he said, you're going to want water and a towel on hand or like a bucket, fill it with water so you can clean your hands periodically. Here's the other one. Let me do this small one real quick. So this, this is actually a piece off of a plant i bought earlier that broke off and he was able to salvage it so hopefully he ends up with this plant in his tank as well you got a smaller one too this stage now so you know what that means time to fill her up about to fill her up guys this is what we're looking like he's got the water filled in where he wants it we're getting ready to turn the pump on for the first time so go ahead and hit it with the power john pumps on and running 
give this filter a little bit of assistance. Come on. You got it. You got it. Come on. There we go. All right, and he's got some cycle media on hand that he's about to add to the tank. So we are good to go as far as putting the fish in. They'll be just fine. So guys, if you got a family member or a friend that has some cycle media from an already established tank, that is a perfect way, a perfect little hack to go ahead and jumpstart the cycle in your aquarium. So you won't have to wait nearly as long for all that beneficial bacteria to colonize because it's being introduced via the established media so now we've had the um we've had the pea puffers uh drip acclimating for probably close to an hour now and we're getting ready to add them all right here they go check them out guys in their new home I lost him on camera. Where'd he go? There he is. I might end up getting more of them. <laughs> Probably so. They are really cool fish. So guys, I hope you understand the gist of the video. The video was to show you guys how simple and easy it can be to set up a freshwater planted aquarium using the dirted method. So like I, uh, I'll reiterate, we have a layer of the soil capped with a layer of sand. That's where the plants are gonna pull their nutrients from and allow the plants to thrive. And then the water column will stay clean right. of the dirt level itself because it's capped with the sand. And this is going to mature and become an absolutely beautiful tank. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider checking out the channel. We post fish related content weekly. And we would love for you guys to join the Chosen Aquatics family. But until next time, we'll catch you guys in the next one.